Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got an unbagging to do today. And this one has come to me from the lovely people at paintsomeway.com. And it has come absolutely super speedy, uh, less than 10 days. So yay, well done to you. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to showing you these because I've got some new bits and pieces. Okay, so we have a diamond painting. Oh, not much of a clue on that one. And another diamond painting, not much of a clue on that one either. And another diamond painting, so three mystery type diamond paintings. And then we have a pen, yay! <laughs> okay, uh, there are lots of special offers again on uh, Paint Some Way at the moment. If you buy one item, you get 8% off. If you buy five items, you get 15% off. And if you buy 10 items, you get 20% off. Yay, we like money off. And also, if you spend over $30, you get a free gift. And over $49 is free shipping. So, yeah. What I tend to do is, as I'm looking through, I put things into my wish lists and everything. And then uh, once I've got uh, enough to get the free gift or the money off or free shipping or whatever, then I put it all together as one order and that gives me a chance to save up as well. So, yeah, I don't like getting money off and special offers. Right. So, yeah, go and check out paintsomeway.com's website and uh, check on what offers are on. Obviously, those offers are on this morning as I've uh, looked before I've made my video. So do just double check uh, before you order and see what offers are relevant at the moment to you. Okay, so this is a wooden diamond painting pen. And I just thought, oh, I've not got one of those. We'll have a look. You know, I do like to uh, seem collecting diamond painting things at the moment. Let me just grab a tray so we can put all our bits in. We've got a few multi places there as well. Uh, the price of this one on the website at the moment is $2.99. Uh, actually, it's very light considering it's like a solid wood. I mean, I know you've got your carvings in the top and the bottom for your uh, multi places and your uh, single placer there. It does just come with the little single placer in. Oops, go on, focus, that's it. But uh, yeah, it is actually very light. It's lighter than some of the resin pens that I've got. Very nicely finished off. There's no sort of rough edges or you're not going to get splinters or whatever from this. And it's a nice shape, very tactile and very smooth actually. It's quite uh, one of those things that you could just sit and play with. <laughs> Yeah, I'm quite into fidget toys a little bit at the minute as well, just because we've had quite a few hospital appointments and things uh, over the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, it's quite nice to just have something to play about with while you sat there, because I do get quite nervy waiting for results and things. OK, so single placer. This one is, I believe, a nine placer. Yes, it is. It's the old style, the thicker nine placer. So I believe this one will be a six placer. Yes, it is again, the old style and a three placer. So yeah, we've got a one, a three, a six and a nine. So if you do like your multi placing, you've got all your extra tips that you can pop on and they do just pop into the end there. Now fit nice and snugly as well. So that's good. Yeah, I like this and I think for the money. And again, if, if you're a couple of dollars off uh, your $30 spend to get your free gift, you could add a pen in. It's always going to be useful. Uh, or you could always save it for a present for a friend. Uh, we all like pens. <laughs> I'll send it to me. No, only kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm really pleased with that. That's a really nice quality. Let's give it a quick measure. Let's find me tape measure. And I'll tell you how long the actual barrel of the pen is. So it is about four and three quarter inches, which is about 12 centimetres. So it's a nice little size as well. But just thought, yeah, when I saw that, oh, I've not got a wooden one. We'll uh, give a wooden pen a try. Very nice. OK, so we're all set now to do our diamond paintings. So which one will we look at first? Uh, let's have a look at this one. It's nearest to me. So this is actually a partial 
so if you're somebody that doesn't like doing a huge amount of background on paintings then these are a little bit quicker and uh, easier to do but you still get the effect of your diamond painting so this is a gorgeous german shepherd or an alsatian dog uh, depending where you live depending where you come from my niece has one of these who's absolutely gorgeous uh, dug up the kitchen floor when she was a puppy so she wasn't quite so gorgeous then but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah she was obviously just helping out obviously thought they needed uh, you know a little bit of variation in the kitchen so yeah she decided to dig all the way through the laminate floor in the kitchen and dug a big hole but uh, yeah that's what they tend to be like so as i say this is a partial so it's a normal standard acrylic drill painting but rather than having to do all of the background as i say if you don't like doing the background or you want to do something a little bit quicker then these don't have any drills any sticky on the background there this is just literally this gorgeous german shepherd dog that has the drills on so that's the only part of the picture that you will be doing and as i say you're still getting that 3d effect you're just not having to spend the time doing the background as well obviously it's personal preference but it is just another choice that you do have with diamond paintings you get your special drills which are mainly sort of partial so you don't do the background you can get full drill crystals and you can get the sort of like um nearly full drill special drills where they're nearly all in lines um, mindy mindy's diamond moment calls them bubble paintings uh, so yeah there are different versions but as i say this is something that as if you don't want to do a full diamond painting but you just fancy doing a quick picture or you're doing it for a present for somebody uh, this one probably will go to my niece um then yeah you've got this to do now i'm just looking at this and it's a lovely shape so i could still even cut this one out once it's got all the gems on it i would seal it and then i could literally just cut around this and then put any background that I, I would like on it um or even just keep it as that shape and turn it into a big sticker you know you don't have to do the actual picture if you don't want to you can just do your little dog in the middle uh, and cut it out so yeah 15 different colors nice clear key code and we have got dmc codes there that's the actual picture there look so that should be more or less what the dog looks like when we've got all those gems on it. Quite a few different colours. Uh, so we'll see how we turn out. But it, is, it does look very clear. It's a lovely, a clear drill field. Very, very bold letters there. And a couple of little symbols there look as well. But all very nice and clear and easy to see. And yeah, I like that. Let's give it a quick measure. Okay. So we are 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. I say this in my sleep, you know, 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. Just ask my hubby. <laughs> I mean, that dog actually is, see, you could cut it out and put it on a card even. So it's 14 centimetres to that part on the head there, which is five and a half inches. Uh, and then the widest part at the bottom is seven and a half inches which is 19 centimeters so does that go out just slightly further than that i think you would get that on an eight inch card an a4 size card so what height are we yeah it won't go on an eight by eight it could take a little bit off the bottom but it's no it wouldn't look right so you're looking at a slightly larger card but you could put this on a card so that one is 24 centimeters which is about nine and a half inches ish so yeah i do like that i think that's going to come out really nicely uh, we've got our pen boat and wax as normal and let's have a look at these drills I do like to try and think of different ways to uh, use diamond paintings rather than just pictures, mainly because I've got so many pictures <laughs> and people are going to start eventually saying, no, no, we love your diamond paintings, but we don't want any more pictures on our walls either. <laughs> so 
so I've got to try and think up different uses for them as well. Okay, so we have a lovely lilac -y colour, a nice sort of rusty colour there. Your standard 310 black, look like good uh, drills as well, nice round drills. Can't see any knobbly bits so rash in there. We've got a squished one there, look. It tried to escape from one side to the other and it just didn't quite make it. <laughs> we've got a caramel chocolate colour. We have a very pale lilac colour and we've got an escapee in there, look. He's decided he wanted to join in with the lilac colours, the lavender colours. We've got a nice sage green, a very palish peach. A denim blue with a peach in it. Oh, they've all been having a party and swap, swapping about in these bags, haven't they? We've got a chocolatey brown, a lovely dark blue there, like a nighttime blue, that one. We've got another denim shade. We've got a dark brown, a slightly lighter brown, a stony colour, and then a very pale mauve colour. Oh, and that one's got an escapee in it as well. Yep, they've all definitely been having a party on the way across, haven't they? Swapped over bags. <laughs> okay, pop these away and we'll have a look at the next one. Oh, and the price of this partial uh, was $3.99. You do tend to find that partial diamond paintings are a little bit cheaper because they've not got the amount of drills on them. Um, so yeah, as I say, it's something just to look at extra, you know, if you're not wanting to do a full diamond painting or you've done a huge diamond painting and you just want something a bit smaller, then uh, partials can be the way to go if you're not keen on the sparkle on special drills. I can't see why you wouldn't be, but I know we all have our own too. <laughs> you know me, I love my sparkle. Okay, so what shall we look at next? We'll look at this one next. This was a, a new one that I just spotted that had just come along. Um, I believe this one was round about the $5 mark, but I've not quite written uh, my price down properly and I can't read my writing. <laughs> Okay, and this one was just a little bit different and I thought, oh, I like that. That'll look quite good. Okay, oh, and it's 30 by 40. You see, I'd not even realised that. I was thinking it was going to be a 30 by 30. So it's bigger than I was expecting for starters. And this one is an all crystal special drill. Ooh. Okay, pen, butt and wax. It is a 15 different gems and colours. And again, this is a partial, but it's a special drill one. So again, the background's not done. There's no um, letters or glue or anything on the back. It is just literally this huge apple that is going to have all the different gems and colours on. Well, I, said, I did expect it to be smaller. So yeah, I ought to read things a little bit better. I tend to just look at pictures, you see. That's the trouble. I do the same with instructions. I like to look at pictures. <laughs> So let's have a look at our apple. A bit of a squish. Get it flattened down a little bit. But yeah, there's a series of these. There was a few different ones, but this is the one that I liked the best. And I thought it might just go in the kitchen, to be fair. Because it's, you know, if you do any baking or anything, um, apples are quite a staple, aren't they? Or if you just like fruit, yeah, it's uh, just a little bit extra. So we'll give it a quick measure. Looks like we've got an awful lot of gems on it. It's very compact. So it's about 25 centimetres and nine and three quarter inches by 35 centimetres, 13 and three quarter inches. So it's your standard size 30 by 40. Nice clear drill field. It has got guide circles on it. Um, and the guide circles are the little rounds around the numbers. Sometimes, depending on your diamond painting, they can show through and you have to be quite accurate putting your gems down. But you do find sometimes that your crystals are a little bit bigger and do cover over um, better than your standard resin or acrylic gems. All right. Let's have a look at these colours. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, do you think it's a bit like Snow White's apple? You know, she's going to take a bite and, yeah, the rest is history. Prince Charming comes and gives her a kiss and she spits the apple out. Yeah. Strange story, that. But Snow White is my favourite princess. So <laughs> Maybe that's why I was drawn to the apple. Although some days I do feel more like the Wicked Queen than a princess. 
but that's a whole other story okay so are these different colors yes they are so we've got like a champagne gold and a very paley champagne gold paley is that a word paler <laughs> Ooh, we've got a little pearl with an iridescent coating on so there's no facets on that one it is just a pearl we've got a nice apple green and then a pale green oh and look at all this red so we have a very deep lovely red two bags of that one and then the slightly paler cherry red and there's two bags of that one yep two bags of that one so that's your main colors on your apple i like the fact that we've got the two colors so you're going to get your shading and a little bit of depth in there as well makes it a bit more 3d We've got a very pale lavender lilac -y colour there. Oh, a lovely a clear crystal. And another champagne -y gold colour. A little bit peachy, that one. And that one is a very pale gold colour. Quite a lemony gold. Oh, look at those huge red ones. How many do we need? Do you know, my brain automatically goes to, have we got spares? So, yeah, we only need two and we've got four spares. Yay! Oh, and this apple's got stars on it as well. Look, it's going to be real sparkly. All around here, you can see, see all your star shapes. Liz, get your language up. Get your teeth in better. <laughs> and we've got some uh, large crystals with uh, iridescent coating on. And then some uh, semi-spheres with uh, no facets on there. Look, in the red. And they'll just dot around all around here as well. Do you know, I might just have to put a little worm coming out. <laughs> It'll have to be a one that's waving, though. Do you think that'd spoil it? Possibly. But uh, I do like my little quirky things. But yeah, I think that's going to look really gorgeous and sparkly once it's done. It's a definite kitchen picture for me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to start swapping out pictures around the house because I've got so many. Okay, so pop these back in the bag. Okay, and we'll have a look at the last one. Right. And again, I was thinking sort of kitcheny, um, just a little bit different for this one. And this one is a 30 by 30. Okay. Special drill again. I think uh, Mindy's gonna Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moments is gonna have to have uh, more than two smashing the specials a year because the amount of specials I've got at the minute, I need encouragement to get them done. <laughs> and this is three wine bottles with like three variations on grapes. I think although these do, do look a little bit a little bit like blueberries but yeah and i just thought oh that's different and that'd look really good in a kitchen um if you're one of these people that have got a nice posh wine rack we don't have wine racks it's like we don't have a biscuit tin we have never have biscuits long enough to put them in a biscuit um and wine it doesn't really last long enough to put on a wine rack <laughs> Not that we uh, really drink it much anymore anyway with uh, hubby's medication and anything and everything. But yeah, we've never had a wine rack or a biscuit tin because, uh, yeah, once we've got it, it goes. <laughs> okay, pen, boat and wax. Obviously drink responsibly. And then let's have a look at these drills. We've got a hot pink. I've just spotted a hot pink. Yay. Wow, these are stunning. So we have uh, seven different gems and colours and they've all got uh, little codes on them, but whether they actually relate to something or not, I'm not sure. Um, the crystals, it looks like, go from uh, 27 to 151. So DMC codes sort of start at around about the 150 mark. So they're, they're not sort of the crystal DMC codes, but anyway. Let's have a look at these. Oh, wow. Oh, love them. Right, so we've got this gorgeous deep royal purple for our lovely um, purple. I don't know whether you get sort of purple grape coloured wine. It does look more blueberry. I know you get white wine and I know I've seen um, in sort of pinkish wines. You know, they tend to be sparkling, don't they? Do you think these are probably homemade wines? So we've got blueberry wine, raspberry wine and grape wine. 
wine is made from grapes but you know what i mean <laughs> and then we've got a hot pink yay then we've got a lime green and two bags of darker green yep they're both the same color <gasps> got these fantastic large semispheres in the purple like a big cabbage on those we've got some little iridescent coated half spheres uh, semispheres uh, in the palish pink and then some in the green again no facets on them so i think you can see where your colors go albeit they need to be the other way around so we've got purple pink and then we've got green there the leaves are all going to be in the darker green and then we've got the green, the hot pink and the purple. So yeah, that is your colour palette for your different uh, wine bottles there. But I just thought a little bit different, a little bit quirky. Quite nice if somebody's moving into a new home, you know, rather than taking a wine bottle for them. Or you could take a wine bottle as well. Uh, uh, you could just take them a nice little picture already framed with the wine bottles on. I think that's a really nice idea. But again, there was a few different ones in this one as well. Okay, let's give this one a quick measure. I don't think I measured it, did I? I think we'll be our 25 by 35. Yeah, 25, nine and three quarter inches. 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So yeah, really nice picture. It's going to be very sparkly. And quite a statement piece on your wall. <laughs> Okay, so we've had our lovely wine bottles. We've had our gorgeous apple. That is going to be really stunning. It's huge. It's uh, bigger than my head. It's wonderful. And then our very, very cute and uh, strokeable German shepherd there. And finally, our wooden diamond painting pen. Okay, well, huge thank you, Paint Some Way, for sending me these. Thoroughly enjoyed looking at them. And I hope it's sort of like giving you a different view on, say, doing partials rather than full drills as well, uh, if you prefer to do something a little bit quicker. Okay, well, thank you ever so much uh, for watching. If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see some of these completed, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.